those of you out there who may be living under a rock, Prime is an energy drink that has recently come up over the past year, which was co-founded by none other than KSI and Logan Paul. In just 12 to 13 months of Prime's inception, it has become one of the fastest growing energy drinks in the energy drink industry. Now, for those of you that don't know, I actually live in Australia, and up until literally today, Prime has not existed. You weren't able to purchase it anywhere in my country, and so this is a real big deal. In fact, this is such a big deal that KSI and Logan Paul in person came to my country, Australia, toured all around the different states in celebration of debuting and promoting the release of Prime Energy Drinks in my country. KSI and Logan Paul went on the Today Show with Carl Stepanovic to basically promote their drink, where they also hosted a fan meetup. I mean, no one really asked, but just to let you know, I also um was on that show when they were doing an ASMR segment like last year, which was um kind of cool, but I mean, I, I know no one asked. Now, I'm not sure what the situation may be for you wherever you live in the world, but these have already sold out everywhere. In just literally six to eight hours of this drink being out, it has been sold out everywhere. They said that the first 2,000 people to rock up would get a free prime. The line and queue started at 7 a.m., and KSI and Logan Paul were to appear at 8 a.m., so I knew that if I were to get even just one bottle, I had to, you know, get there kind of early. So I knew that my only chance to get a bottle of prime was to wake up super early and get there as early as possible. So I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning, got in the Uber, drove to the venue, arrived by about 5 a.m., and already by then, there were about a thousand people waiting. I mean, this was crazy. You can see a little bit of the footage. I did a tiny little uh, vlog, which you'll see the footage in the background. You can just see the sheer amount of people, and it was nuts. I've never actually been to, like, a fan meetup before. I actually had a few people uh, come up to me and greet me as they were just by chance uh, viewers of my channel, too, uh, which was really fun. It wasn't even my meetup, but I had like five or ten people come up to me and uh, greet me, which was hilariously awesome. So after KSI and Logan Paul finished up, it was time to get my prime. And so what happened was, as you would leave the venue, you would get a bottle of prime. One bottle per person. And I knew that the only way for me to make this work was to get all of the flavors available. So they were only giving out five different flavors. I believe there are like three or four more, but these were all of the flavors that were available at the venue at the time. So what I had to do was be a bit sneaky and hustle and sort of rig the system. So what I would do was get a prime, try to like go on my phone, get back in the queue and get a second prime. Then I traded that second prime for a different flavor as it was the same one. And then I just bought the rest of the prime bottles of random people. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but these drinks, even though they should cost for about five or six bucks for retail, people have been selling these drinks for literally 10, 20, 30, even $50. I've seen people sell them, which is ridiculous. But I knew for content and for you guys that I had to buy all of the different flavors available. And so today we are going to be for the first time tasting prime energy drinks. We have five flavors available to try and I'm going to be giving you my honest review, my honest truthful opinion about these drinks. I've never tasted prime. They're literally unopened. So let's review what the flavors are. There'll be timestamps and you can look at the different flavors. I'm not sure which one is the best one. And to be honest, I'm not really an energy drink kind of guy. I prefer to just drink water, coffee, tea. So I might not be the best person to sort of give a sort of review about energy drinks as I don't really drink them. But, but regardless, I'm super keen to uh, review all of these drinks give you my honest thoughts and opinions, and, uh, yeah, maybe rate them, and, uh, we'll figure out which, in ranked order, which is the best to worst. So, the first drink we have here is Tropical Punch. This one, also, they sound really nice, I'm not gonna lie, they make good ASMR. 
ASMR. Dang, I think Prime Energy Drinks are going to be a staple ASMR trigger on the channel. So this is Tropical Punch. I'll just read a little bit about it. Prime was developed to fill the void where great taste meets function with bold thirst quenching flavors to help you refresh, replenish, and refuel. Prime is the perfect boost for every endeavor. We're confident you'll love it as much as we do, humbly, the Prime team. So it says here that it is 10% coconut water, 250 milligrams of BCAs, B vitamins, and antioxidants. Uh, a lot of people were asking the ingredients. It has water, fruit juice from concentrate, uh, food acid, which is citric, uh, acidity regulators, it has a couple different sorts of compounds that I don't really know how to read. And so yeah, it has a few vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin B6, and vitamin B12, which is cool. And it has one gram of sugar and 10 grams of sodium, which is pretty impressive considering the fact that I believe most energy drinks like Powerade, Gatorade, have tons of sugar in them. So, um, hopefully, you know, that won't affect the taste. I'm very curious, but yes. So here we go. Trying out Prime uh, Tropical Punch for the first time. This should be interesting. And let me know wherever you're from if you're also going through a similar experience and how it's really impossible to find Prime nowadays because it's the first day that it's been released here in Australia and it's already sold out. Yeah, so it should be interesting. All right, let's give this one a try, Tropical Punch. Here we go, let's crack it open. my review of the Tropical Punch. Firstly, I'm not sure if this is going to be the standard with all of the different brine flavors, but this straight off the bat tasted very sweet. Really sweet. In fact, I'm. it's unbelievable to me that this only has one gram of sugar unless it's used with um, some sort of different uh, um, compound, but regardless, it's very, very, very sweet, which was uh, amazing. So, um, that was, that was pretty nice regardless. It, it definitely does, yeah, have a tropical punch, tropical sort of flavor, for sure, for sure. But overall, it tasted very nice. I didn't expect it to be so sweet, like I 
his head. Definitely has that punch flavor, you know, that tropical punch flavor for sure, for sure. The aftertaste, I'll admit though, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but one of the things that sort of happens when you drink a beverage that has no sugar or very few sugars, for example, if you have a Diet Coke versus a normal Coke, the Diet Coke, whilst having no sugar, in my opinion, tastes a little bit worse than uh, a regular Coke. But the regular Coke is so much worse for you. So that's just my opinion. I know there are people who really love Diet Coke or the taste of Diet Coke far more than regular Coke. I'm personally of the opinion that I prefer um, normal Coke way more than Diet Coke. And I think this has got a sort of similar dynamic where because this has so little sugar, obviously they've had to use something to make it sweet. And so you're sort of, in my opinion, trading off a tiny bit of flavor for a little bit more health benefits, I guess, because there's less sugar, right? I don't know. It, it does have that sort of no sugar, stevia sort of aftertaste, I'll admit. But it is still delicious. Yeah. This was very, very, very yummy. actually like this one a lot. Mm. Quite impressive. I, I was sort of expecting that, to be honest, because as soon as I saw this, I only had one gram of sugar. Um, immediately, I uh, thought about, is this going to have that sort of um, stevia sort of aftertaste, that, you know, low sugar sort of taste? But anyway, so that's the um, punch, tropical punch flavor. So... I think the next flavor I would love to try, I think the one I want to leave last is, well, let's do the flavor I'm least most excited about, to be honest, which would be orange. I'm never, I've never been a fan of, like, orange drinks, orange-flavored energy drinks, orange-flavored candy. It's been my, you know, least favorite. But, 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 can I give this one a try up next? Let's try the orange one. Here we go. 
this is the orange flavored prime. Let's give it a whack. <laughs> All right. straight off the bat. The aftertaste of this one, the orange one, is way better than the than the tropical punch one in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. It's it's doesn't have that same sort of artificial sweetener sort of aftertaste. And I naturally lean a little bit more to more citrusy, sour sort of sweet tooth, I'm going to be honest with you. So just by my natural preference, I think, I think I almost prefer this one more than the Tropical Punch one. Yeah, I think aftertaste is very important to me. And this one doesn't have that artificial sweetener sort of aftertaste. So uh, it's actually, okay, so next up we are going to be trying, let's go with uh, this one. This was the one I really wanted to try next. It's the Ice Pop flavor. very curious about. I have no idea what ice pop is. Oh, it says right here, cherry, lime, and blue raspberry flavors. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Right. So this is like three flavors, I guess, in one drink. Very cool stuff. Um, yeah, this one, I have absolutely no idea how it's going to taste. I'm just guessing it's going to taste kind of sweet and then have something on top of that. So should be interesting, so let's give this one a try. Crack it open. Alright. Let's give it a smell. Oh, wow. That is an interesting smell. I don't know how I feel about this one. Just by the smell. I'm gonna be honest with you, it, it does sort of have a chemical-ish sort of smell. Um, yeah, that artificial sweet sort of smell, but I don't know, I don't know, let's, let's just give it a try. So this is the Ice Pop Prime flavor. Cheers. So maybe it'd be a good idea for me to taste what the blue raspberry
raspberry one actually tastes like by itself. So, I just checked. I wish I had the um, grape flavor prime, but unfortunately I don't. Alright, so this is the, uh, yeah, the blue raspberry flavor. Let's crack it up. This very much does have that lives up to the to the hype. It is a lemon lime flavor, and um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not anything too uh, crazy or overwhelming, but it is. Uh, it's pretty solid overall. All right, now I need to figure out what my ranking order is in terms of worst to best. So, straight away, I think my least favorite out of them all might have actually had to have been the uh, Tropical Punch. I think the Tropical Punch was a little too sweet for me personally. And for some reason with that one, it just had that aftertaste, that artificial sweetener aftertaste. Yeah, that was probably me. But still was pretty nice, pretty nice for sure, for sure. I would give it out of 10, maybe a... I'd give this one maybe like a 6 out of 10, to be honest. It's it's good, 60%, you know, that's, that's still pretty good, you know. So, by all means, 6 out of 10 is still good. I think 4th, I think it actually has to go to the, to the blue one. To be honest with you, the um, blue raspberry. Because 
because whilst it tastes nice, it, it didn't really taste like raspberry at all to me. It just tasted fine. Um, that doesn't mean it's bad at all. It just had that sweet flavor with that little bit of artificial kick at the end. So for that reason, I'm giving that a probably a I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10, I think. I think I actually don't enjoy the sweeter flavors in general more, so take this my pretty with a grain of salt, and again, I'm not really a um, energy drink connoisseur, so again, my opinion is worth nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, this one I enjoyed a little bit more than that for sure. I think third place Two. Yeah, you know, it's pretty difficult. Yeah, I think third place would have to go to. It's really, really, really difficult. I think third place is going to have to go to line. sort of, um, yeah, I think I just, it was, it was good for what it was, for sure, but I just prefer, I think, the Ice Pop one more, and I think the reason is because it is sort of, you know, it has lime in this one as well, it's still got that sour kick, but then it also has a little bit of sweetness to it as well, which the lime one, the lemon lime one just doesn't really have as much because there's no raspberry flavor or cherry flavor in it, you know, it's just lemon lime straight up, so I think it's an acquired taste, but I definitely prefer it more than these two, I think, so I think I'm going to have to give lemon lime the third place, and ice pop the second place, as it sort of is a mix, really, if you think about it, of um, all three of these drinks, the ice pop is sort of a, a best of all, all of these worlds combined, you know, and I think it's a very good balance. So if I were to rate the lemon lime, I would give it a 6.9 out of 10 for the memes. And I would give the uh, ice pop one, I think this one was actually quite nice, I'd give it a 7.2 out of 10. Very precise, I'm very precise with my ratings, so don't worry, so 6.5, 7. Oh, sorry, we gave it this 60%, didn't we? So 60%, so... 6 out of 10, 6.5 out of 10, 6.9 out of 10. This one I'm going to give, I think, 72% or 7.2 out of 10. And I think the orange one, yeah, was um, my favorite one. Yeah, I think orange might actually be the winner here. I think it's perfect in the sense it's got that citrusy sort of kick that citrus fruits have, that sour acidic sort of kick, but they've also done a good job with getting at that sweetness to it, and I can imagine, I think the biggest thing I'm trying to think about is which drink would be the most refreshing after a hard workout at the gym, and to me, I think it's going to have to go to this one, because it's not just about taste, right, you got to think about how you feel after a workout, so I'm going to give first place to orange, so this is my order first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and for the rating for this one, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, or 80%. So these are my scores for prime energy drinks. Unfortunately, we didn't have the other flavors like strawberry or grape, or I think there's a new white flavor, the moon one, which I'm, I just, they, they didn't have it at the meet and greet, which sucks. This is all I really had to go with, so there you go, guys. That is my review for Prime. I hope you guys enjoyed. A huge thanks for watching this video. Um, and a huge thanks to KSI and Logan Bull for uh, coming over to uh, Australia and for meeting up with the fans. It was a, it was a great time. And uh, yeah, with that said, uh, if you want, buy Prime.
it's uh, it's not bad pretty solid okay well that's gonna wrap it up for this video thanks so much for watching and until next time i'll see you later